guys, I'm going to give you a sneak peek of the new product coming out from Atlas Survival Shelters. This is our precast bomb shelter that also doubles as a root cellar and a tornado shelter. As you can tell, it's solid concrete. It's eight and a half feet wide, 12 feet long with over eight foot ceilings inside it. It's going to be buried four feet underground, so that's one foot more than you need for the radiation. But guys, I'll be doing more videos on this, but you know what? This is going to come to the market with, this, with the uh, NBC air filtration system for tw under $20,000. So for all you guys that say I only work for rich people, here's a shelter for you. Welcome back to part two of the Eden Growing Tower from Eden Growing Systems. And I've got Jeff here. In part one, we fully assembled the Eden Growing System, as you see right here. Now, this is a two tower, and Jeff over here is going to kind of explain everything to you because I've never done this before. But if you want to see part one where we assemble that, go back and watch part one. But this is part two where we're actually going to go ahead and plant some seeds. So, what all did yeah. you bring? Lay them out here. Yep. So we got a few different things that are really easy to just get started with. Arugula, lettuce, some onion, basil, and Swiss chard. These are really super easy. This particular tower, as you said, is a double deck. And there's only so much grow space, so the stature of your plants matters. Now we have different towers based on different things that you want to grow. So if you want to grow tomatoes, we have a single deck, so they're just one deck and so, a lot of space. Yeah. We have a tall deck if you want to grow cucumbers. It goes from the very bottom all the way up. So you can grow cucumbers, you can grow corn, you can do a lot of things. But this tower is made for leafy greens. You could also do carrots. Uh, you could do beets. You could do onions. We've got garlic. Uh, I got some just easy stuff for you to start with since you've never grown inside it's good to get started this way and and, uh, and this has a computer system on him yeah turn, turn on that computer real quick yeah so everything is just touchscreen control it comes default settings uh, but you have your different light settings here you can change your pump settings you can change those yeah if there's any accessories attached you can change all that um, but so they you all can come actually, default. so you can monitor the system from out of the country even that's correct yeah if you connect this to uh, the internet you don't have to in order to use it but if you wanted to you can monitor it from anywhere on the planet now if people didn't catch part one this is an aeroponics yep that's correct so no dirt at all in the system it's just roots hanging in air that we spray with every now and then and we use less than five amps uh, when everything is turned on, on and these the lights is basically the substitution now do they need to be on full-time they'll grow faster with more light right uh, yeah the more light you give up to a certain point so the photo period that you want to use for these types of plants is usually between 12 to 16 hours so the lights will turn off at some point during the day they will. so you yeah. want to let them go to sleep yep and these lights are very key to this right yeah, these are full spectrum LED lights, so you get all the color plus UV and IR. Wow. So we're going to do these these foods right here because um, they don't stick up very high. Correct. Now, yeah, they'll, they'll fill up this entire area, so you'll eventually have a whole bunch of food here. It'll take about 60 days for everything to grow, and then you can just start taking off of it, and it will just keep growing. And you've got, um, there's like, what, five systems you have? We have five different variants. Of five those. variants. Yeah. Okay, and one of them is like a single tray yep. for uh, tall stuff. Tall deck. Then you have a single deck, then you have a double deck, then you have a triple deck, and then you have a potato deck that grows potatoes. And you can grow anything from herbs to... Um, All the root vegetables, um, most of the fruits. You could technically grow a tree in here, though you don't really have a lot of space. <laughs> And this is all made of aluminum, yep. okay? As in part one, I showed it's all made of aluminum. It requires no tools to put together, so you just tighten these little thumb things. It also, you can actually have aquaponics in it, so you can actually grow tilapia and what else in here? Uh, we've done giant freshwater prawns. Prawns. I would probably do prawns. Yeah, I'm a prawn guy. Okay, so you can grow your shrimp. How long does it take for a prawn to grow? Uh, I think it's about 120 days from the when you get them as little miniatures to being. Uh, and, and, and what feeds them? The droppings from the. Um... Other way around. So you actually get uh, fish food and you feed the shrimp. And oh, you. 
okay. and the shrimp waste gets pumped up here and feeds the plants. The plants clean the, wa the water and return it back down to the shrimp. Oh, wow. So that's kind of like the hydroponics on that part. But this is called aeroponics. Yeah. So the difference between this system and those little plastic growing trees that sell for like $899. Yeah. Those are those are really toys. This is really a tool that you're going to be able to grow food on for a long time. We've designed it to last a long time and be really easy to maintain. Yeah, and you can tell this is a tool. I mean, this is all aluminum. Um, everything is high quality grade of whatever it's made of. Even this plastic is very thick right here. Yep. Got a little zipper on it, so you, I guess you can reach in there to yep. fling it out. Go in and see the roots without actually lifting it up. Wow. And then these have been designed so you can lift them up and you can actually take the whole set of vegetables out and go to your sink, yeah. harvest them, and then bring it back and put it in and plant it all over again. Well, this is cool. All right, so what's the very first thing we need to do to start planting our plants in the Eden growing system? Yeah, just kind of figure out where we want everything, but it's really super simple. Just give it a quick little demonstration. So here's our plant media. Okay. Uh, and then you're just gonna take, you know, a little bit of your seeds here. You don't need to germinate them outside of the tower. Just take a few of them here. Well, that's a lot of seeds, isn't it? Just need a few to fall in there. Okay. And then you kind of pinch that closed a little bit. Put it back in there. Okay. You just like that. Alrighty. And you're gonna put a cap on. This cap helps keep the algae and everything at bay. It also saves water. The plants will come up right through that hole. You drop it in there and you go to the next one. Really? And so we've got- two locations, so it'll take a while, plus another 32 up here. So we're gonna grow both trays at the same time. Yep. Okay, and then and then afterwards we set the water. Uh, yeah, we'll put water in, and then you'll get nutrient solution, and we'll add that to the water, uh, and you'll be off to the races. Okay, well we're gonna jump ahead of you guys, do this, and we'll come back to you in a second. So guys, I'm here at the Atlas Survival Shelter Factory in Sulphur Springs, Texas, right now. So I brought one of the Eden Growing Systems into one of our bunkers that we're building right now. This is a a twin 10 by 40. So this is an 800 square foot bunker. But because we have eight foot ceilings in the Atlas Survival Shelter, the Eden growing system fits perfectly in here. Where the other guys, they only have seven foot ceilings, it wouldn't even fit in there. But uh, fits perfectly. And in a 40 foot bunker like this, you know, this being just a little over four foot long, you could get, you know, eight or nine of them down each wall. So I decided that what I'm going to do I'm gonna, on my top tray, I'm going to grow uh, basil another basil, Swiss chard, and the onion bunching. And then on my lower one, I'm gonna do the arugula, and I'm gonna do some lettuce. So uh, he's gonna go ahead and start to plant those for me. What are you doing now? Uh, we're just putting the grow media into the cups. I see, I like it if I put those in first, it just helps the planting go fast. And that stuff's kind of weird. It's kind of like a foam, but lighter than it foam. It is, yeah, biodegradable, uh, recyclable. Yeah, it doesn't even weigh nothing. Yep, no, super light, but absorbs water and wicks water really well. Wow. So you don't get a lot of mold or anything building up. All right. So then here, we're just going to take some seeds out. Actually. Now, does it matter? Do you just need one seed or do yeah, you want... just a few. A few? Yeah, just a few. Because then, because germination... If you put like too many seeds. If you put too many seeds, does it screw it up? No, you just you thin it. As it grows, you'll see that it's pretty thick. And you're like, hey, I want to eat some of that lettuce. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you're just getting some on the tip of your finger. Yeah, you're just dropping them in. Super easy. This is pretty much it. And then we'll turn the pumps on to their automatic setting and they'll start watering all this and all get wet. We'll put the caps on the top here like this. And that'll allow them to start the germination process and the seeds, they'll just come right up through this little hole. How long would it take before we see a seedling? It'll probably be about a week or two. That's it. Germ so you're gonna save those seeds, put them back in there? Yeah, well, we got more to do over here. So we'll get well, Yeah, but we're gonna do one here, one type here, one type there, one type there. This this is the lettuce that you want? Oh, okay, we're doing two lettuce. trays of lettuce. Yeah, so we Okay, so we're gonna do to two do trays. Yeah, cause lettuce can be big and bulky. It's got more food. Yeah, you'll have quite a bit of lettuce. You'll have plenty of salads. If you're like me on a weight loss program. Yeah. <laughs> well, the best part is in part three of this video, we get to eat it. <laughs> yeah. That's and let me tell you, it tastes good. There's something called phytonutrients in all these plants, and they've actually been known to help uh, solve a lot of the issues that people are having in their guts and cancer and everything. Okay. And the food that you get at the store just doesn't have those because it's been harvested so long ago, or they use so many 
fertilizers and inorganics on it that it just doesn't contain the same nutrients and those nutrients are the flavor well there's a question is there any fertilizers you should add to this you're going to get some plant food and you will put the plant food into uh, the water and that is what will allow the water to do what needs to be done all right cool so you're getting so, all the seeds picked up so now we got the lettuce planted yep, lettuce and, and you got to put the caps on put the caps on that helps save uh water from evaporating and also keeps the light off the seeds when they germinate oh wow so it's creating a little mist cloud in there up at the top you can see it coming out That's why we have the caps okay so you can see it coming up here and it'll start getting these wet does that run the whole time or is that nope, too much it's water? A, it's on a cycle. So it, I have it on a two minute on, five minute off cycle. And then as it starts to grow, we'll change that to like uh, two minutes on every 30 or 45. So does this food grow faster here than it would in natural? It will. Yeah, oh. It will. So how many se growing seasons is there when you do indoor food? Uh, one that lasts forever. No, no. I mean, you can plant harvest, plant harvest how many times? Oh, how many on the same? Cycles? Yeah. Well, uh, it depends on what type of plant you have. Yeah. Um, a lot of the plants you could do continuous harvesting. So you can harvest them lots, forever, depending on how you prune An example, what types can you harvest forever? Lettuce is a good one. So this lettuce, I can plant it once and just, just keep harvesting yeah, you'll, it? Yeah, you'll, har you'll harvest from the outside in. And then it'll, you just keep, keep taking until the flavor changes. So I can have lettuces, I mean, salads just endlessly here? Yeah, pretty much. Cool. I like salad. Now, we have seen that some species, uh, their flavor profile changes as they get older. Yeah. So it just depends on your, your palate, if you like it or not. If it, if it gets too old, then you have to change it out. But we've, we've harvested over, I don't know, 20 times. And it's cool for us up in the north, because I've been watching it stay, there's put snow on the ground. There's no growing, but we go in our garage and we got basil, we had a whole bunch of different leafy greens going. We had potatoes, or uh, sorry, uh, not potatoes, tomatoes going. We've had everything. Cucumbers, we had our tall deck with cucumbers and just took over the garage. It's crazy. So which one would you order if you're gonna grow herb? Herbs? Herbs. Well, not herbs, but like... Um, like weed? Yeah, weed. The yeah. tall deck. The tall deck. Yeah. So, because the plants are tall. Yeah. Yeah. They, uh, the tall deck definitely works. We can't do that here in Texas, but I'm sure people are thinking about oh, that yeah. that watch this no, video. We, I did it up in Washington. I wasn't a big fan when I first started of it. But okay, so you're doing your seeds again now. For which one? This is the arugula, and the seeds are a little bit smaller. Hold on, hold on. Let me see the outside. The arugula. Okay. And they're a lot smaller, so this is just easier to do a little dump. You only need like two or three per. And that just ensures you get germination. That's Once you get past germination, then they'll just grow. Germination is your hard part. So when you do the top, are you just going to pull it down here? Or are you going to get on a ladder? I'll get up on a stool. Yeah. Okay, so you get a little step ladder. Yeah. Okay, so now he is up on the top tray. And we're going to do four different vegetables up there. Yep. Yeah, we got uh, dark opal purple basil, sweet basil, Swiss chard. Just planted that, and right now we're doing bunch of onions. Okay. Push me. You make so a nice I tell you what, when you're done, put the um, packet kind of like hanging on the side. We can tape it off. That way we know what we're growing. Okay because I don't have a green thumb. And uh, what do you think about people who don't have a green thumb? That's what, uh, we actually have a video dedicated to the black thumbs of the world. Uh, all the people who've been growing in our towers uh, <laughs> thumb. never knew how to grow anything and they can grow food in these towers successfully. Very successful. Well, you know, guys, if you watch all the videos I'm making on this uh, eating growing system, you'll be able to do this yourself. And I'm telling you, this thing is structurally sound. Being a fabricator and all, look how thick the material is right there. That's like 3 16 thick tubing right there. That's not even like a, a 14 gauge. That's like 3 16 That's just heavy as hell. We wanted to build something that would last. Well, this will last. When you grab it, you want it to feel like a tool, not like a toy. And that's what we were aiming for. All right, guys. So let's fast forward. Now it's been four weeks since I planted this. 
And uh, about a week and a half after I planted it, I, I, I was in Europe and we had the freeze storm in Texas. The power lines were down. So we lost power for three days here. And um, so these plants died right here, okay? The freeze actually killed them, all right? So I'm gonna lift this one up and show you. So the freeze actually killed them. So I replanted it, okay? And then of course these survived through the freeze storm and these are just now coming back up after I planted it after I came back. See, they're starting to pop up over here. But four weeks later, this is what I got. So I'll keep you guys updated as I make videos about my bunkers. We'll uh, occasionally pop in and see how my vegetables are growing, but that's my lettuce right there. See you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.